I'm copying some slides and sending the images via Wi-Fi to my desktop computer, which is on the other side of the room. Let's see how that's done. Hi, it's Peter here. I'm actually copying some slides with the JJZ slide copier or negative copier that I just got. And I will put a link to the video that I made about this to the description of this video. But how is it done when I'm sending via Wi-Fi from my OM1 camera? The first time you try to connect with the Wi-Fi to your computer, you need to initialize your, com uh, your camera first or your computer actually. It will ask you to put the USB cord and make the connection with that and then it will initialize and next time you will use Wi-Fi to connect to your computer. You don't need to do that. But the first time you need to initialize it. And you need to have the computer and the camera in the same Wi-Fi. The next time you do it, you just take the PC connection, Wi-Fi and the computer that is initialized will show. You choose the one that you're using and then on a computer you open the OM Capture software and you're basically good to go. You know when the connection is okay if you have the Wi-Fi symbol green and a PC text next to it. Then you know it's okay. Then you just press the button and the images will be shown in the computer. They will be transferred. It might take some time depending on if you're using uh, raw images, which you most likely are, and then, of course, the speed of your Wi-Fi. It took some time for me to transfer the image to the computer. But usually when you're doing something like that, it's not about real fast speed. And a tip, if you need to have those images uh, sent really quickly, then what you should do is to use uh, small JPEGs as a sidecar file and send only that. That's possible to do with OM. Uh, capture, which is really handy. If, it's very good if you do some client work and you want to send the uh, reference image and they will see the, you know, maybe a portrait sh shootout or something to do with uh, with uh, still life or some product shots. You want to send a small image for them to see on your computer and they can kind of say that, okay, this is good. And then you can do do the next one. It's really handy way. I've used it quite a bit, especially in big bigger portrait sessions where the client can see the images real fast. It's, it's a lot easier to look at them from the computer screen and just show them from the LCD. And an extra tip for Lightroom users. What you can do is to make auto import enabled and then you can set the watch folder and then transfer those images or import them to another folder that you're sending these images to so that uh, Lightroom will uh, uh, import your images. And you can also use some presets and set some metadata if you want. It's really handy way and really fast way. Like I did with this, I had the preset that will convert the negative to a positive image. Of course, I need to tweak it a bit afterwards, but the basic work is done a lot faster than doing it manually for every image and then, or actually syncing them later. I think this is the best way to do it. And here is a list of cameras that can be used tethered. The three first ones are also compatible with Wi-Fi tethering, with things that I did now, and all of them are compatible with USB tethering. As you can see, there's one camera missing, that's EM5 Mark III, which is not compatible with tethering, which is a pity. And here is a video about tethering that I made some time ago. The other one is about the uh, slide copier or negative copier. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.